Imagine that you are working on a brand new online drawing tool where a user can perform actions like draw, erase, resize, etc. You want to design your application so that each action the user performs can be reversible. Also, you like to be able to bring back the reversed action in case you reverse it by mistake. These operations are known as undo and redo and you can use the command design pattern to implement them properly. The command is a behavioral design pattern that turns a request into a standalone object, containing all information about the request. This decoupling allows for parameterizing clients with different requests and supports undoable operations. Let's create an action interface that has a single execute method. Then, let's create concrete actions like draw, erase, resize, etc. Each of these classes inherits the action interface and implements their logic in the execute function. Then, let's create an application that is responsible for creating actions. Also, let's make the canvas on which the commands should be performed. Now, let's see the flow. When the user is performing the action, the application creates a concrete command, stores it in command history and executes it. The concrete command performs changes on the canvas. When the user wants to undo their action, you must discard the last action from the history. For the redo operation, you need to return just discarded action or do nothing if no such command exists. To implement this, you can use a pointer to point to the last correct action, without deleting or maintaining another history of throughout actions. There are four actors in this design pattern. The command defines the common interface for all concrete command objects. It usually includes an execute method. The concrete commands are subclasses of command that encapsulate a specific action by binding a receiver to the action's execution. The invoker class holds and manages the command objects. It triggers the execution of commands through the execute method. And finally, the receiver is a class that performs the actual action associated with the command. It knows how to carry out the operation. In terms of benefits, this design pattern promotes decoupling between the sender and the receiver, leading to more flexible interactions and straightforward maintenance procedures. Additionally, command objects are capable of storing state, which facilitates the implementation of undo and redo operations, a significant advantage for user experience. However, this design pattern has its drawbacks. One major disadvantage is the potential for increased complexity within the code base. Multiple command classes can make the system more challenging to understand and navigate. This is closely related to the issue of class proliferation, where the need for various actions could result in an overwhelming number of command classes, further complicating the code structure. Sometimes, the command design pattern might be considered overkill, making the code less intuitive and more challenging to grasp, especially for simpler actions or scenarios. That's all about the command design pattern. See you in the next video.